Have you grinded for two weeks to get the perfect plane, and you're ready to kick ass, but you don't? Suddenly you lose every fight with other planes, and every player laughs as your wings fall off the second week off the ground. Maybe you might say, this plane sucks, it needs a pro buff, or something on this line. Do you think you'll never win enough that plane? Well, maybe you're just using it wrong. But play this boy here, I'll go to my generic plane with you. While well, I go through almost every plane next to my dirty, starting fat hands on. The plane we're looking at today is the star plane from the German tree, the HG51B. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? Now, let's go into some history of this plane. Michael Recru in 1931, Michael recruited the talented aircraft designers Walter and Scooby Gunter in order to expand Germany's Air Force after World War I, when there were still restrictions on how big Germany could build their army. The first major design of Heinkel was the Heinkel HG 49, which was told to be a trainer for the rest of the world, but was actually a fighter. The first prototype, the HG 59A, flew in November of 1932, which was followed by two further prototypes, which later led up to the production of HG 51s for the still secret Leaf Water. Intended to replace the earlier Arrow AR 65s, but still served side by side with a slightly later AR 86. In May 1933, pre production HE 31s were flying. By the time it entered service, it was extremely outdated. On the 6th of August 1936, six of HE 51s were delivered to Spain to fight the Spanish Civil War. Initial operations were successful, with Heinkel's meeting and defeating a number of older biplanes of the Spanish Republican Air Force. They did some other battles, which they lost and had some tough time against the more advanced Russian biplanes. They were continued in use as ground attack aircraft for the remainder of the Civil War, though losses were heavy. After the war, 46 surviving aircraft would be joined by another 50 new builds and served in the utility role in Spain in, until 1952. The HG-51 continued in frontline services with Luftwaffe until 1938. They only exploited Bulgaria and the Spanish state. Now that's done, let's go into some real life stats and some in-game stats as well. Crew, 1, length, 8.40 meters. Wingspan is 11.00 meters. Its height is 3.20 meters. Its wing air is 27.20 meters squared. Power plant is times one BMW 6 7.3 liquid cool V12 engine. Using over 559 kilowatts. At times two 7.92 millimeter MG17 machine guns and 300 RPG. It could also carry times 6 by 10 kilogram bombs. Now let's continue with the stats from in-game. It's stock, its max speed is 387 km per hour at a height of 4,000 meters. Its max altitude is 7,700 meters. Its turn time is 15.7 seconds. Its rate of climb is 11.7 meters per second. And its takeoff run is 294 meters. However, upgraded, Max speed is 310 km per hour at the same height and the same altitude as well. The turn time is 14.7 seconds. The zero of climb is 14.3 meters per second and it has the same takeoff run. Now, that's that's out of the way, you can move on to some pros and cons. Like most times, this is a star plane, plane. So bear in mind that these pros and cons have not much to say about the plane itself and doesn't really change my opinion on the plane that much. Pros Free repairs, excellent turn rate. Cons, slow, and as a consequence, lousy at climbing. Pathetic armament for a fighter with only times 2 7.92mm machine guns. Any success a player may have, then the plane can be larger attributed to being pitted against similarly shabby aircraft and inexperienced pilots due to its bow rating. Now, let us move on to some tactics. Again, bear in mind, you can do it your way if you find another way that works well for you. Tactic 1. Gun pound targets and guide the first few planes quickly. Go for weaker stuff such as armored cars and anti-air. Texas 2. Turn and fight other bomb planes, but beware of your energy yeah, and speed. Yeah. You don't stall halfway. Okay, I guess I'll give my conclusion on this plane. Like most star planes, there isn't much to go through. This plane is a lot like most star planes, like the Fury Mark 1 and 2. And 
very similar tactics. There really isn't much difference beside it, it's having flaps are slightly more maneuverable than most. And, and I think on one of the HD51s, I, it's definitely not this one, for sure, why, why, why? but it, there's one that has bombs. But other than that, it's pretty same compared to other biplanes on this level. But it's well matched to other enemies. Okay, I think we're done here for today. Hopefully you learned something, and I hope you have a great day, both online and offline.